You could argue since getting traded to the Brooklyn Nets in the Kevin Durant deal that Mikael Bridges has been a top 15 player in the league. That's just simply how great he's been. In 13 games now with the Nets, he's averaging 25.7 points on nearly 51% overall shooting and nearly 48% three-point shooting. Unlike in Phoenix, where he was primarily a 3 and D guy, now he's able to showcase his wide range of skills. He's got way more in his scoring arsenal than most probably thought. He's proving to be a legit three-level scorer. He's shooting 63% within five feet of the basket. Forty-seven percent from ten to fourteen feet out. Fifty-five percent from fifteen to nineteen feet away. And fifty-seven percent from twenty to twenty-four feet out. Impressing me the most is his balance and body control when he attacks the basket. As these clips highlight, he has an ability to connect on shots with a high degree of difficulty when going downhill and also with some contact. He's averaging over six free throw attempts with the Nets. The ball's just in his hands more now than it was with the Suns. So far with Brooklyn, 24% of his scoring frequency is coming out of the pick and roll. With Phoenix this season, it was just 14%. Also, with the Suns, over 29% of his scoring frequency came as a spot-up shooter. So far with Brooklyn, that's at 22%. So again, just to emphasize that he's playing more on the ball. And as a result, he's taking way more shots off the dribble. Since the All-Star break, he's averaging 8.6 pull-up jumpers per game. With the Suns this season, he averaged just 4.5 of them. For the season, he's taken the second most corner three-point shots in the league, and he's made an incredible 48.7% of them, which is the best mark among players who have taken at least 100 corner threes this year. And then, of course, he's a legit two-way player. In a recent game against Denver, Bridges held Jamal Murray to 0 of 7 shooting when he was the closest defender, according to Second Spectrum tracking data. In the Minnesota game, Anthony Edwards made just one of his four shots with Bridges guarding. Those are just a few examples. The big question going forward is whether Bridges can improve as a playmaker. If the ball is going to be in his hands more often, it's going to be critical for him to set his teammates up for easier shots. Since the trade to Brooklyn, he has scored at least 20 points in 10 of the 13 games he's appeared in, including on February 15th against Miami, when he erupted for 45 points on 17 of 24 shooting from the field, 4 of 6 from 3 point range, and 7 of 7 from the free throw line. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. I will continue to do more player analysis features of current and former players.